Today I'm trying $20 sustainable yoga pants from PAC to see if they're any good or if they're just trying to get rid of old stock. See, I have a problem. My yoga pants, my yoga clothes, they barely last a season and then they start to pill and sag and I have to replace them. My solution has been this box of shame where I keep extra yoga clothes for my filming and going to the gym. So I thought I'd try some sustainable brands to see how they fit, feel and function so you don't have to. The first brand I ordered from was Packed. This came in six days, it cost me $25 to get here, but I live in Canada and on an island, so there's that. And it came by DHL, so there was no custom fees. Yay! This says it's not your average plastic bag, so presumably this isn't a plastic bag, which is good because it's supposed to be a sustainable brand. First impressions, these are supposed to be soft. They don't feel that soft. So that's my first impression. They're made with organic cotton with no pesticides, no fertilizers. They don't feel that soft. We'll see what they feel like on. Okay, as far as the fit, they're small and I usually wear a small. I would say that you need to size down. They feel a little big. See how they're bunching around the knees on me and they're going all the way to my ankles. Normally they're 27 inch inseam and I expected them to go a little bit above my ankles here. So I would say you need to size down in packed leggings. They're actually softer than I thought they would be. So they feel they feel pretty soft. I think they'll probably soften up with some washing. Okay, as far as function, I think they're gonna function well as a yoga pant, maybe not as well as a gym pant. They're a little bit more relaxed fit. Also, because they are a little bit bigger, I'm able to hike them up so that they're more like a high rise than a medium rise, but I'm not getting that compression that I want. You can see here at the front, it's not tucking everything in here. Also here, it's not giving me that nice cellulite compression here on my legs. So, uh, so, so on function, we'll see how they work on the squat test here. Keep in mind, I am wearing a nude underwear. I washed the pants to see if they feel softer after I washed them. Didn't make a difference. These pants are made with elastin, not spandex, which is both better for the environment and means they should hold their shape better over time. The thing I love most about these pants is the waistband. After wearing them for a few days, it just stays in place. And that's because there's this no stitching on the outside that you can see, but it's double stitched on the inside at the top and the bottom. Walking to and from the gym though, I just didn't feel confident. It felt like the butt was sagging and it was the bunching in the knees. So again, you just need to size down in these pants. At the gym, I did keep hiking it up. Could be because it's just a mid rise, not a high rise. I prefer a high rise. Also, they're more of an athleisure pant. It's cotton, it's not really athletic wear. So not the pants fault, just not really great for the gym. They did feel great on the yoga mat though. They were soft, the cotton felt good on the yoga mat. Love them on the yoga mat. I think they're a great athleisure pant, well-made, made to last.